My Vitalab is supplements made simple. Loop Foods is a farm to fork internet restaurant startup, so essentially our tech enabled outlets are able to facilitate dining, delivery, pickups, and also delivery to a food point near you via our, our web app. Okay, basically, ArtMeet uh, is the Job Street plus Fiverr's dedicated for creative designers in Southeast Asia. We help uh, small businesses uh, to create a greater chances in getting business loans by using our toolkits to get funding ready and match them with the best business loan and lenders. We are the developer of Metaverse, something like Roblox or Fortnite, but it's meant for adults to do businesses, to, do, to attend events, and to do meetings, and uh, training and so on where you can be represented with your own personalized avatar. So we often get um, questions like what should we take for our body? What supplement suits us best? Um, what do we actually need among all of the brands? Which one should we take? So those are the questions that we at My Vital Lab want to solve. We want to be the one-stop centre for health and wellness. We believe COVID-19 is a wake-up call to how broken our food system is. So if you look at it, food has been skyrocketing. Farmers' um, uh, farmers' earnings have been hindered. Um, also, food wastages are at all-time high and ultimately, consumers are all suffering. So essentially, we built Loop to change this. Uh, a fully integrated um, restaurant with the ability to source directly from farmers. We make great food and we sell it directly to the consumers. The problem is uh, when the companies they want to find the designers, it is very time consuming and high cost to pay the traditional drop portals. So with Artmeet, we provide a freemium drop portals and free last marketplace to solve the problem. Uh, we do understand uh, when the business owner tries to get the business loan, uh, the process is quite less pleasant because the first, uh, it involves manual and extensive uh, documentation and second, is a business owner do not know where to get the business loans. We are providing a platform uh, easy to use a platform where a small business can come in and register and then we can match them with the best business loan. So actually we got a real case uh, study, a real project which is from uh, ISAP, one of the Petronas subsidiary. Uh, they need to run an event, it's an oil and gas symposium but due to COVID they cannot uh, run the thing physically. So they engage us to develop a virtual platform for them to facilitate that. So first we had to record our pitch video, a very short brief pitching videos. And then after that uh, we came to the midterm review with which have to meet the you know side the the evaluators um, physically and after that during the midterm review we are uh, located uh, two panel of judges and when we went into the room they will ask us questions uh, more in depth about our business what kind of products or services that we provide and we have about a 15 minute session with them so I think when we first started out um, we definitely you know had a business model and we were functioning but I think throughout the midterm or even throughout many pitches to many different people they have a very um, key thing to share with us in the sense that we need to be more clear as in what we are building. Yeah, so that is the thing that uh, when you are getting people to have a positive challenge for you, then you will learn more and you will learn, you will know that where is the gap of your business for the uh, for the uh, assisting sta uh, status. So that is um, basically what happens um, during the midterms reviews. They ask us questions, they help us to improve, they give us the feedbacks, and yeah, I think that is very pre pretty pretty good and valuable for most of the startups. Like random but very significant questions that um, sometimes you don't think about, which is very good because, um, for example, they'll ask things like, what are the customer segments of, that you're looking at apart from the current market that you're serving? or um, are you looking at any future collaborations even from outside of the industry um, or our exit strategy for example so those are the questions that sometimes um, as an entrepreneur or as a business owner that you don't think about but actually it's very relevant uh, they are more asking on clarity on the specific focus that we are looking at. So I think uh, that's where we need to narrow down rather than we be a generalized. So, so that is uh, one of the 
uh, where we need to go back to discuss the teams to structure our pitching our business structure a bit and then for, for that to get a clear message to the to the markets so they're always asking us you know hey how are you going to compete with this brand you know what makes you different so i mean like you know those questions were very much um, you know very straight to the heart because you know we're obviously building the brands and you know some question uh, some answers wasn't very favorable but i think ultimately um, their intentions was to always you know ensure that you know we're on the right track and you know not just being romantic about building the brand and also i think um, um, how they poke you know certain holes into our execution i think that gave us a very good perspective of you know just really step by step as opposed to assuming which i think that was very um, helpful